The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. Production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. And today, I'm here to show you all of my favorite ways to use the Soothe 2 plugin. Now, ever since Soothe 1 came out, this plugin has been all the rage because it really carved out a unique lane for itself as far as what type of tool it is. As the name implies, it's something that you pull up to make things sound softer, nicer, more soothed. And I'm going to show you all the different things in a mix that you can soothe. And the track that I have pulled up is a recent release by Kara called Tempo. And we're inside the Ableton session here for the beat. And I'm also going to show you the vocal session in Pro Tools a little bit later, because that's just how I like to work. So let's start out by taking a listen to the song. I noticed during this pre-chorus is there's a lot of instruments that fall into the same frequency range as the vocals. And this is the first and foremost way that I use Soothe 2. So my favorite feature out of all of them, which is why I'd like to show you this first, is using it as a sidechain device, which means we're not going to be soothing the instruments based off of how they sound. We're going to be soothing them based off of how the vocals sound. So I'm going to grab the tempo acapella as my side chain input and we just dropped this here on the entire synths group which sounds like this and let's open up the plugin and let's tell it to side chain and let's listen to the vocals so that's what we're side chaining it to and now let's turn our vocal back on and take a listen to how much better the vocal sits over the music. I'm just going to make this a little bit wider. If this were a normal EQ, this would be us boosting the mids, but this is us boosting the amount of reduction that's going on in the mids. So this is almost more of a subtractive process as I push this up. And just like a regular EQ, you could scroll your mouse and make it wider. So what we're essentially doing is sidechaining this area of the frequency spectrum, and that's going to help it remove any conflicting frequencies that it hears with our voice channel. And let's listen to it in the next part too. It's going to help a lot. Something keeps on telling me stay. You got that. I'm going to loop this section because I think this is really important for you to hear how much clarity this can add to a voice over a really busy, cluttered beat. In spots where the musical instruments don't really conflict that much, like the verse that we heard in the beginning, it's going to make less of a difference. Especially because it's a very call and response arrangement to begin with. And for vocals, I always recommend the soft algorithm. This will keep it a little bit more transparent and natural sounding. The sharpness and selectivity pertain to how spiky and how many spikes there are here in what it's doing reduction on. It's like a bunch of little dynamic EQs going all on their own. 
This is one of the few plugins that does something automatically that I like to use. Most plugins that do something automatically, I'm usually like, uh, I don't know if I have enough control with this, but with Soothe, I absolutely want what it does. So let's leave this back here at three, the default setting where it had, I just really prefer that number. And let's dive a little bit further into some of these other options. You have the option of doing the same processing to the left and right or you could do it differently to the mid and side. Like for example, we could keep all the processing here only in the mids or only in the sides. Let's try having the vocal processing only in the mids. For side chaining your vocals over an instrument, this might be a really great setup option. You also have a percentage where you can link the left and the right ears for mastering or putting sounds or group processing, I would recommend keeping the link at 100%. But for maybe a really stereo instrument where you want to give it that freedom to process the left and right ear differently, maybe you'd pull the link down. But in this case, like I said, we're on a group. I'm going to keep the link at 100%. You also have the ability to do a mix, which is the overall percent or amount of what the effect is doing. Like let's say you wanted to blend 50% of the original signal in and do a more aggressive depth. You could really hear the vocal get buried under the music when the Soothe sidechain gets taken away. And again, we have Soothe here on the synths group. It's not actually processing how this vocal sounds. So that's my number one favorite way to use Soothe as a sidechain tool. I'm gonna put this back to have the mix at 100% and a lower depth. Sometimes you can get really interesting, aggressive tones by doing what I just had. But for this, I'm gonna keep it just like that. Are your beats too respectful? Are you constantly searching for that perfect drum sample to finish your next smash hit? Introducing Raw Hits 3, the complete collection of drums, loops, and sounds organically harvested for guaranteed freshness. Raw Hits 3 is available now only at holoops.com. The next way I really like using Soothe is in the vocal itself. Like I said earlier, I like to use Ableton to make beats and Pro Tools to make my acapellas and then I just bounce out my finished work. So I could just switch over here to Pro Tools and we have the acapella session open. From my skin to your heart, I see the lines across. And As right here on the lead vocal, the dust, I'm a man of truth. we have Soothe too. Got me and I got you. And this is doing some control on the upper mids. Golden hands taking shots. Let me turn it all the way up so you can hear better. Too much. Just wanna feel the rush that we're going through. On those frequencies. There's nothing I won't do. Another trick where you could hear just what Soothe is you working with automatic. is Delta you're Mode. So this is all the nasty I stuff that it's cutting out. And I'm permanently paralyzed in your light, in your light. Something keeps on telling me stay. And here come the rest of the vocals. Got that. No, I never thought I could love you harder. And we'll turn it off. No, close enough now to take me farther. Oh, but every touch our connection grows. Can you keep up with my tempo? So in addition to processing our synths like a sidechain plugin, I also using Soothe in a more traditional sense like the way Soothe 1 was intended to be used here in my Pro Tools session. And obviously it works as an AAX plugin here in Pro Tools, VST in Ableton, an AU plugin for Logic. This will work for you in any DAW, which is another reason why I absolutely love it. So that's how I like to use Soothe 2 here on my lead vocals. Let's jump back into the Ableton session and let's talk about how this could be used as a sound design tool. Let's go into our chorus. <laughs> And we have some really big synth stabs here that I have Fong's rave sauce on right here. So those can get a little bit harsh, even though they're supposed to be a super soft sound. Sooth 2 is a great way to take a really aggressive synth and make it a slightly more palatable sound. Let's take a listen to... 
And this meter really helps you visually focus on where the sound is on the meter. And maybe we could turn up some more brightness. And just turn up some more soothes to compensate. Let's turn the depth up. Maybe a little bit of reverb. And let's turn Soothe off. Normally it would have been way too harsh and way too aggressive, but with Soothe 2 there, it really lets you get away with some extreme sound design choices. And let's put this in the mix. This lets you get away with some really extreme sound design choices, making Sooth 2 not only a useful plugin for your mixing, but your actual music production. In addition to that, you can use it here on the master as well. There's a huge presets menu here, some of which are specifically for mastering. One of my favorite ones that I like to use is this one here called Balance to the Grammy Awards. <laughs> Even as a mastering plugin, you could hear it's doing across pretty much the entire spectrum. We're excluding just the very, very lows and the very highs here with this filter. There's a lot of great presets here that can make your master just sound a little bit more presentable. Less mud on the master might help this song, which has a lot of low frequency sounds. <laughs> just soothing the low end of our master and leaving the rest alone. As you can see, there's a lot of different ways that you could use this plugin, not just in your mix, but in your master as well. So there you have it, all my favorite ways to use the Soothe 2 plugin by OEK Sound for your sound design, your mix down, and your mastering. My name is Reed Stefan, realest puppet in the game, and I'll catch you guys next time in another tutorial. Peace out.